I'm really excited because I'm back with another hostel review and this is with a hostel that I have wanted to get on YouTube for a long, long time. The name is Flying Pig Uptown. It's part of a chain of hostels in Amsterdam. Uh, you have Flying Pig Uptown, Downtown and there's even a beach hostel. But the weather's not too great. It's February in Amsterdam so we're sticking with Uptown near Vondel Park. It's near some amazing bars and some of my favourite clubs also which I can't wait to show you. But first, we're going to stick with the room and then we're going to go check out the amazing bar. They even have a pool table, which I'm very excited about. So this room is really awesome. It had an extension last year, which means that it's super long and super bright. And it even has a window that looks out onto the garden, which I really like. And it's right by my bed. So perfect to wake up to the sunshine in the morning. Each bed is laid out along the wall, which means that it's loads of floor space down here. I have also checked it. It's pretty sturdy and not squeaky, which is good because this top bunk one is mine. Each bed also comes with two USB plugs, an extra wall charger plug, and a personal light. And there's even extra wall charger plugs all around the room. So if you have all your technical gadgets and cameras and laptops to charge, then this is the perfect place to do it. You can keep them safe under the bed. We've got under the bed lockers, which you need to use your own padlock for, but you can also buy one or rent one at reception. This room even has its own ensuite bathroom, which is a huge godsend. Um, the colors are really, really funky. Very funky and fits in with the flying pig theme. So you've got lime green walls, all tiles, sparkling clean shower, which I was really, really impressed with. And even better is that the social atmosphere here is awesome. I've been here once before just to look at the bar, but this is the first time I'm gonna be showing you guys. So I'm gonna go show you the bar area, the smoking room for those of you who don't wanna go out into the bad Amsterdam weather, but still get a little bit cheeky. And there's even a pool table in there. So let's go check it out. The reception, smoking room and bar all in the common area. You'll find the best staff here to help you out whether you want to take a day tour, get some change to the pool table or a drink. Hey guys, so I've just left the Flying Pig for the day. The first place I want to stop is Vondel Park because it is one of the most beautiful spots in Amsterdam. So I'm going to go show you the statue of Joost van den Vondel who uh, was a Dutch poet and playwright and they put a statue up in here uh, when it was originally called the New Park and eventually people started to call it Vondel's Park and now the name is officially changed to Vondel Park. One of the best things about the location of the Flying Pig Uptown Hostel, rather than the Downtown Hostel, is that it's right close to Museum Park. It basically means that I have the Rijks Museum over there, uh, you've got the Salvador Dali and the Banksy Exhibition in the Mocha Museum right here, you have the Van Gogh Museum around the corner from that, and the Stedelijk. So right now I'm sitting at the entrance of the Albert Kite Market. This is probably the most famous local market in Amsterdam. The reason I love it is because the food is really well priced. Um, I just had lunch, I had Vietnamese spring roll, then I had some seafood pasta and uh, kibbling, which is my favourite, and that all came to about 5 euro. So it's a great place to come and see where the locals do their grocery shopping, but you can also come here and fill up for the day. I've just found the most incredible gallery. Um, I was just walking past and I saw a sign for outside. I don't know if any of you have seen the Banksy movie um, about Mr. Brainwash. Well, there's all this gallery, all the stuff inside is original Mr. Brainwash paintings. Uh, whether or not you believe that's Banksy as well, it's completely up to you. Uh, but it's just around the corner from the Flying Pig Uptown where I'm heading back to now. So I just woke up and you will never believe what it looks like outside. More snow! Today I had a whole day planned for you, but it snowed and it snowed really, really heavy. Um, I've got a friend of mine coming from the hostel and I, I'm hoping we're going to make a snowman now. Hey guys, so the snow day has continued. Um, I've just taken a late night walk with some friends of mine. Uh, we've got snowball fights, snowmen, and now a very, very wet Katie. Hey guys, so I just got back to my room at Flying Pig Uptown. Uh, it's really warm in here, really cozy. So 
So today is all about exploring the neighbourhoods around the Flying Pig Uptown. Just show you the places where you can go shopping and get a good coffee. Staff recommendations should never be taken lightly. So I came here to Cafe de Bib uh, on recommendation of a guy called Lucas and it's a relative of his, I think is his cousin Lizette, who runs this place and I just went in for breakfast and the food is incredible. I had avocado on toast and the really nice guy behind the bar, he was just really friendly and then when he was busy the chef even brought over my own food. So this afternoon I've decided to take a walk a little bit further into town from the Flying Pig Uptown Hostel. On the way I'm stopping at the Nine Streets. They're a collection literally of Nine Streets of cute boutique stores but the reason they're so beautiful is because the stores are so varied. You have galleries, you have clothing stores, uh, you have boutique souvenir shops and the best part is that the shops are lined along 17th century canals that look this gorgeous all the time. Hey guys, so tonight is really sad because it's my last night of Flying Pig Uptown uh, but it's also kind of exciting because I, tonight is one of the staff members birthdays his name's Aaron, he's awesome so now I think, I mean I kind of have to go buy him a tequila shot or Jaeger, whatever he wants <laughs> 